What's up, you guys? Shiz back. Part four. Uh, where we last left off. I whooped Jevil's ass. Um, everybody was saying... Well, some people in the chat were talking about uh, not spoiling it, like, who it was going to be. So it made me think, oh, it's going to be, like, a big surprise. It's going to be... What's his face? Um, the robot thing, whatever, from... Uh, Undertale, it was not, obviously, I, I don't know who the hell Jevil is, so I don't really, um, but, we did that, we got the armor, feeling good, so, ooh, we might actually have to fast travel back just to get some health, and we ride the elevator too. No, wait, yeah, yeah. you're there. Yeah, I know. Get out of here. All right. Uh, I think I was saying this to Jan um, offline. Um, definitely had a lot of fun with this game. Um, I think. The pace is a lot quicker. Five minutes, no. Haha. Uh, I think the pace is a lot quicker, so you kind of get to these moments faster than you did with Undertale. Um, I think Undertale had like a lot of, considering the length of the game itself, um, smaller moments in between the big moments. Um, whereas this seems fairly quick. Rudin's room, yes, that's a door. We sold all of our beds to replace them with treasure. My back hurts, but life has never been better. You're the peaceful lightner. Whoa. You even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? Oh, you even taught the beast to talk? Here, have a Choco Diamond. Nice. Looks like a family photo. Alright, is that like... Alright. I gotta lower it just a tad. <clears throat> Because I think I noticed also in like watching back the recording, it was a little bit louder than me, which is okay, but... Right, that's the elevator that doesn't work, because there's somebody on the top floor on the elevator. Ooh. Club sandwich. Okay, I hope I don't run out of space now. Royal flush. Shut up. Um, I do also like a lot of the dialogue. I think it's it's very funny. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying about like getting to the moments quicker. I think you get to enjoy the dialogue a lot a lot more. Oh man. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. I'm sorry, I'm trying to pronounce it. Is it Cassius? Cassius? Cassius. Is it... What's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh. Who's there? Oh, uh, that was fools. Who the fuck is that? I am Rose Card. Or Rose? Rose Card? Thou our greatest adversary. Thou may have Claude's. Claude's past all those. Oh, the rest of the world. That's too many, too many words like that. That's that's a lot. But thou's were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou's lives. Toil worms. What? How's it? God damn it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Rose card was standing here. Nice chapter one. Are you gonna go for the secret boss? Uh, if if you're talking about uh, what's his name, Jevlin or whatever, or Jevil, then yeah, I just uh, I went for the secret boss yesterday. Um, so now I'm going for the final, the finale. I think making block pushing, block pushing puzzles is totally hunky hobby. Oh, okay. Transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall of. Wait, um. Do you have hair or. Felt awkward and left. Oh, oh dear, wait! Not so easy, huh? Alright. Ay, 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 ay! Woo! Boy. Let me show them, let me show them how it's done. Actually, well, nah, you know what? Let's just keep going that way. God, Chris, I can't. Do it yourself. You said some sweet lines. The enemies were deeply enamored. See, I got it. Aye. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know why I did. Yeah. Hathi looked at you kindly. Your sins against Hathi were forgiven. Looks like Hathi sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. Looks extremely well slept. No, you won't sleep here. It's not your bed. Okay. Hmm. Just in case. I'm going to read all the beds in case there's something else. You thoroughly investigate all the beds. Your rank was upgraded to bed inspect. Alright, you see? See, it was worth it. It was worth it. Federal Bed Investigator. Get out of here. Oh shoot, what am I doing? Do I have to make him stick his tongue out in all these pictures? Hey. Change the picture again? Okay. Alright. Oh no, puzzle guy again. Alright, I'm not I'm not doing his whole dialogue spiel. <laughs> Those guys really think that was all I had had it? Wrong. <laughs> How about you? I don't know. Oh, 
Ooh, nice. There is a lot going on in here. I don't know who destroyed that cake. That has nothing to do with us. I'm in charge of the DPS. Dancing party soundtrack. And put it in the toilet. Ha ha. Wish we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah. Eat so many. Choke. Do they eat sports? What's good, bro? It's a bet for three people or one three-headed person. What is the deal with the forest? It's a tree for parties. Okay, so you got the sports, you got the trees. Bro, you're good, you're good, bro. And then the boys? Who's the boys that uh, the three-headed thing wants? Don't worry, bro. Hope you're good. I'll be feeling better. Is that the elevator to go down? Probably is. This. It's a hole made recreationally. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. It's a music player. Listen to the contents. It's full of cartoon splat noises. It's some kind of digging implement. There's a sal there's salsa buried in here. Nice. Alright, so this is Lance's room. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Dainty scarf. Homemade healing up. Homemade what? Homemade. Fragrance sauce. How about yourself? I am. No, my god. So I might amass funds. So I make crushes that out like fermented grapes. Vengeance. Oh, how I amuse myself. The king. Our lord. Oh, lord. You know, the singer. He is also brilliant. Pretty much it. Nope. Let's read the last one. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst queries. And call me at the lesser, his lesser dad. Our relation is none. I do not wish it to hear your mp3s, I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he, anyhow? Hey, you doing alright? I mean, I don't really think I need to free the elevator, right? I didn't, I didn't need to do that. But whatever. Now we have access to the uh, fast travel point or whatever. But if this is the end, then this is the end. I cleaned your jars? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Enough, worms. They were being used for salsa. God, just like the salsa in the game. Thou may have cheated through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with. Oh my god. Look at my Noel emote. Shoot, I'm trying to... <laughs> I had to put my glasses on. Is that Noel? Oh, from... It's nice. I mean... You don't really, you don't get to have Noel in your party until chapter two, right? But his crown looks different. It looks the same. Yes, with my control crown, I may, mayest control any disc-shaped life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful. Best waifu. But I am certain this creature will feel its relief when it sees how much more pain that will be in. Alright, uh, do we do the bow? Susie's idea? Susie, you wanna act? Aw, oh, what's your idea? 
Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. I knew, I knew. <laughs> Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw a rock to see at it. Oh, fuck. That's not great. That's not great. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna... Oh my god, I was not paying attention. Okay, that's fine. The crown is 20% loose. Woo! Look at that. That's alright. What am I doing? What was I doing there? 90%. Crown loosened a little. That should have loosened a lot. Okay. And he rolls away. I could have done a better job with that. At $3. Uh, we don't really need it. <laughs> Why brilliant? Just brilliant. I knew you could do it. Thou great heroes, thou. Thou see. Thou, thou, thou. Thou, 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 thou. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. But you... Luck be with you, heroes. I'm gonna assume there's another save point. Yo, this candle's going... Oh, there is, there is, right there. This candle's going crazy. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Riches, they shine with it. Avarice. What word was that? Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. <laughs> I'm assuming it's whatever happened when that knight showed up to dethrone the, uh, the other kings. Hey, there's Lance. Yeah. Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the lighteners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? <clears throat> yeah, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie, she's very purple and strong and... Um, right there. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Lancer, my son. Yeah, Dad? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No. No, they're not. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Man, he gonna throw his son off the roof? Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend the Lightners. What? You... You traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh god. <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? Ew. 
I'm the bad guy. Alright, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch in the voice in the middle of the fight. The king blocked the way. You might not realize it, but... This is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lighteners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Rossi's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. How dare you come here, Lightness? Okay. But we can't do it yet. That's fine. King's mouth babble in the Oh mouths. That's like okay. As soon as he tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get it by without hurting you, then. If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Since his will is changing, talk became Red Buster. You that left us in the shadows stripped of meaning. Oi! What? Oh, snap. Okay, 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 okay. Did I get hit? I can't tell. That was... okay. The king's mouths gave a berserk smile. Now I'm gonna try talking. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. Okay. I, ah, idiot, stupid. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. <laughs> ah. Okay. Why did I take my glasses off? <laughs> King's mouth. Yeah. Do I just keep? I just keep doing. All right. I gotta just tire him out. For the night has appeared. Okay. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Yeah, he's got to finish this whole dialogue. Oh, shoot. Okay. Your soul, your soul shined its power on vaults. Cast duel, holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world, our world. Ay ay ay! I put myself right in that corner. All right, fine, that's fine. He's gonna finish his whole speech. Uh, do you see our now our new purpose? Right. It, okay, that's not great. <laughs> Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Does he have to finish? He has to finish the whole speech, right? Isn't that? Then you may see what it's like to live in despair. Alright, Monokuma, relax. Wow, I just went and hit that. Stupid. Alright. Alright, let me put the glasses back on. The battlefield is rumbling. Uh, yeah, we could heal. Why not? Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Alright, I'm not moving enough. Right, I'm, that was terrible. Let's 
It's crazy because like after that uh that secret boss battle, uh, you're you're quite strong, aren't you? <sighs> Stupid. Like after that final boss battle, like these should be easier. They honestly. Not that difficult. I just keep make, making stupid mistakes. If I keep fighting you like this, then then what? You're gonna get tired? Wee! Right. It seems that. Bro, like you just sat right in that, huh? All right. Defend, defend. Yep, everybody defend. My knight, I shall not fail you. Who's your knight? Aye. Ooh, okay. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. Exhausted from our long battle. Lightner's <laughs> eye. Perhaps I have been too cruel. Cool. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkeners and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkeners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I too do not yearn for those days. Perhaps you young ones are right. Please let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Come now, Susie. Hmm. I don't trust it. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King, none of us really want to fight. You can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. <laughs> My apologies, I am... I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Oh, boy. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Yep. Sicko, look at him. Never better. You. Did I say you could get up? Chris? Oh my god. Oh, spare me the heroics. You, you're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? Surely you must realize how exhausted I am later. Any hit from you could kill me. Why not do it later? Kill me and show my son how much you really care. Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid layer. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Just wait a second. Wait for what? Huh? Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Why you, you little... You sweet little pumpkin. Nice. Hey, Chris, you all right? That was close, Susie. I'm surprised you remembered my pacify spell. Hey, come on. I'd never forget something I made fun of you for. Chris, Susie, I'm, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? 
Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about, too. Everyone, you're okay! Lancer, hey. Sorry, I kinda beat up your dad. That's okay, it happens. Oh, it even looks like he's having a beauty nap. That's good, he seemed cranky. Man, you can say that again. Uh, Lancer, what's that noise? Oh, I actually came to warn you, Clownlings. I informed the guys you were fighting my dad, but instead of eagerly volunteering to help you, everyone just caught the freakouts. Now they appear to be, um, breaking through the door to the throne room. Well, uh, that's not the best. Chris, Susie, it seems that you must hurry to the fountain. No time for goodbyes, huh? Yeah, of course no goodbyes. We're bad guys, so we only have bad buys. <laughs> You've learned a lot, huh? Only from the best of the worst. Who did we hurt? What? Okay, I'll go stop the door. Later, dude. Why is Ralsei slowing down? Susie, Chris, we must say goodbye then. Um, I, I just wanted to say I... I really enjoyed meeting you two and... Hey, can you stop mumbling to your half for a second? We can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Why, why did I say it like that? Um, Chris, Susie, I... See, I knew it. I hope I can see you again soon. Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. Huh? Let's go, Chris. We can't go back. We gotta go, Chris. There's no time. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? There's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Sucks. I didn't think I killed anybody, but Susie did. Susie killed somebody, and I thought, What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Huh? The unused classroom? How do we get here? Hey, Chris, what just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? I don't know if you guys could hear the candle crackling this whole time. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alfie's we couldn't find any chalk. Playing card spills out it. It's all yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. It's a light switch. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn about. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alfie's will know better than us to ask next time. Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Chris? 
-hmm. Let's go back there tomorrow, right? Nice. The door is locked. The door is locked. All right, I guess I just go home. Do you like breathing? Moving fast, with or without legs, but usually with legs, join the cross-country team. Lockers, it's locked. Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Throne of the gods. Some kind of primitive sculpture. on Alfie's computer. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. You check the clock. That's not what it says. It said you check the time. Oh, stop moving. Okay. Ring, ring. Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Of course, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend. You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I'll make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Like actually, oh, I like you can go around and see. What, Chris, you survived. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Katie's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Gotta go to college. So tempts Stubby hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. There's an anime review. Read it. No, 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 no. You decided not to read it. You know, let's read it. Oh, Teen's Corner. Monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. That doesn't sound smart. Uh, and let this... Let her tell you... It makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkling cat ears. The darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older sh oh my god. An anonymous yellow lizard. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs, you should really read them. There seems to be a dog inside working on a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Lord of the Hammer. Please remember my name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. <laughs> There's a book here. You look the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. God. Is this a car accident? Hey, punk. Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Sorry. I'm a little, uh, worked up early. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. <sighs> just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? You wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build the bank. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. 
It's an obligatory hospital piano. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Nice. Uh, Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Oh, well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. That looked like me. What? Her dad is Puerto Rican. Look at that. What? Really? Yeah. She slapped me so hard I blacked out. Yeah, that looked like me, bro. But with antlers. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, well. Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Ha, <laughs> fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. I guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Ha, <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No, really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> Alright, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? She's a sweetheart, isn't she? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. Just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember she used to be even afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what a tough that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that in the meantime I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? It's a sink. Hey Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? Yeah, bro. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines and circles. Cool. Oh my god, what is that? The castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Alright, maybe we'll fight you in the next one, I don't know. My god, there's so many places to talk to people. Holy shit. So for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, the cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks would really suit a fire element. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those crepes were mad worth, though. The Lequency is the best condiment. A lot of this really makes me want to play Night in the Woods. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. <laughs> hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen, and then y'all stop coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got the hot chocolate on the house, huh? Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything that doesn't look like treasure. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Alright. What is that? Ice me up. Ice me up. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We got normal. Cheese. Ice. Gravy. Oh my god. Okay, good. I thought it. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. 
Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza, your number one. You are number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. <laughs> Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. <laughs> It'd be sweet to cruise around the town like old times, picking up, for example, chicks, which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. <laughs> but one time on Dime made eye contact with me while she was writing me up a speeding ticket. Okay. Okay, I thought I could go around. Oh my god, there's even more. What? There's Sans. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got anyone I should know better? Me. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like it. You got Sans' number. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Yeah. Oh, you answer quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain, huh? What are you gonna be doing? Oh. I'm not gonna be there. That'd be weird. It's gonna be... It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. My god. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie, huh? <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You get to you got to miss class with Alfie's. It's not fair, huh? If I skipped class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. Ha <laughs> ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. Oh, oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door? So hot. Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Okay. Okay. That's. <laughs> That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Oh, okay, I thought... Alright. Alright. Oh, you're the human that lives at the top of the town. Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Yes. Yes, it does. No response, but the distant trussle of bones. All right, let's check everything. My God. Yo, there is so much stuff to check. Holy shit. What is this? It's locked. Okay, I don't know what that's... Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participate to any extent instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> okay. Well, you ain't gotta be rude. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. 
Erson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. That's nice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. <laughs> the mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative, but she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. Hey, short stuff, why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff, that's what the cops are for. Bro, you're shorter than me, jerk. What the freak? What the freak? Alright. Nice. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, Nyah! You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. I wonder who's who works with her. Hey, neighbor, baby, when's your brother Doug gonna come by, huh? My girl would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food, huh? That's disgusting. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything, though. Your choice. Oh my god, Azrael, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene? <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Wow, okay, that was one of the, uh... Isn't she the other one? Yeah, they were, like, the, the garbage friends or whatever. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Chrissy, like, long time no see. I was trying to do a slithery voice. I don't know. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Go away. <laughs> Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Yeah, leave me, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Knock, knock, knock. No, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Rude. Flower King. Dad? Dum-dee-dum. -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Oh, it's, it's a purple flower. Protect it in a container. Small TV on top or some superhero comics. It's a door. It's locked. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a golden flower. Okay. Cyan. Blue. Alright, call me the flower inspector because I inspected all of them. No rent received again. Stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. C. I wonder who's C. It's a flower. It's a flower. Say, Chris, I was thinking perhaps when Ezreal comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Yeah. Oh, Chris, before you go, give these flowers to your mom. Here for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Nice. Have a great day, Chris. It's your dad's truck. The, flower, the floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. 
true. Can I can I fish or something? What? I feel like I probably missed some stuff, but aside. Are we done then? Oh, it's no help. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I got my house key again, and sorry, Chris. I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Kat Katie's. Katie's? Um, Chris? Are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure you appreciate it, but, um, gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Eats chalk. She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Okay. Well, I think that's, yeah. It's your mom's car. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friends today? By the way, I just finished baking a pot. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake up. But do not eat it all this time, okay? All right? I don't know why I read that weird. Chris, what is it, honey? Flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. <laughs> Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, Sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cool. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventure will end. Will you go to bed? You decided to go to bed. Yeah, that kind of took a while. I mean, we had beaten the story a while ago. Do I crawl out of bed? What the f Okay. Okay, get up. What? <laughs> when the what? Light is running low and the you got words in the song now? Ah. Uh, like I. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining. I 
don't know what what that means. What does that mean? What does that mean for us? I don't I don't think there's well based off you know the the whole intro part about you know your choices don't matter. Obviously I don't I don't think that's something you can avoid. Um, what the fuck? To be continued. Well, that's the end of uh, chapter one and part four of Delta Run. Um, we will obviously continue in into chart into chapter two. Um, I don't know if that's the game I'm going to play right now, or if I'm going to do something different. Obviously, we do have a lot of time in between uh, now and chapter two is even better in my opinion. Get hype! So then, I guess we'll just go straight into chapter two right after this. That's it for part four. Uh, for the, for the YouTube recordings, this is the end of part four. See you guys in part five with chapter two.